I was back there with what I've, the equipment I've got now. 1963, by 1963, look at the flood fund. It's just, water just really can't go and do what it used to do. It's just clogged with asphalt and parking lots and buildings and, you know, the last chance nature has to really kind of flow down has just been constricted to this area right in here. Now, this is a, a, a picture of the ball fields and a lot of this is what's going to be taken out. This dirt here is a compacted field that Caltrans took from this hillside over here. This, this highway used to be down right next to the Surfrider Wall here. But when they expanded the highway, they had to take this, cut the toe out of this hill, and they brought all that fill over here. And it's, it's, a, it's a clay composition, and they dumped it in here, and it, and it was like a clay. It's like, like lard on a sponge, and they compacted it down. And this wetlands it was kind of loosely, it was able to percolate and breathe, and subterranean uh, uh, absorption used to be able to go through there, but when this, all this fill came in here, it couldn't compact. So there's no, the hydrology in here got really screwed up. Uh, this looks like a lot of algae in the pond. This, I used to live right there on this, before they built this house up here. I was working at Pepperdine, and uh, I lived in my truck right there, and it, it was actually the summer, it was in the winter, 77 and 78, and 78, it seemed like in February there were south swells every week, six foot south swells every week up until about August, and it was so cool to wake up right there and just be right there. 1979. You can see in this picture, you can kind of get a, a kind of an idea of uh, the reefs that were, here's the cobblestone reefs, and you can see the sand, here, the lighter stuff is the sand. This is definitely the third point of reef. A little bump here for second, and, and, and the top of the first point here. That's a pretty interesting shot. Yeah. And this is, that one. If you look at the, the aerial photos now, you'll see th this This isn't as pronounced now. This is flattened out. This, this, these high spots here, you know, there's been erosion that's pushed the high spots off. And, and on south swells, <coughs> the, the swells kind of come in like this, and now they're more kind of a closeouts. But back when the reef was defined, there would be a, a peak off the top. Yeah. There would be another peak over here, too. It was, really, a, it was a real wave. World class defined. It was a real, it was, and, and it, it, that had never existed before. No, before 1969. This didn't exist until maybe 1950. So, let me see. Now these pictures, let me interrupt real quick. Yeah. These pictures are all from the Mechanics of Malibu study that Sean Collins did. These are all archived from Google and going from 1989 up to 2009. So once again, you know, this gives you some historical perspective on how malleable and in flux, you know, the, the surfing zone, the shoaling zone is uh, at Malibu. Yeah. These, islands, these islands are always changing. It's just never the same. It's always changing, 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 changing. And sorry, Andy, but second, third point aren't gonna. They, they weren't always there. It's gonna change. One day in the future, we might get another flood. Hopefully, a, a hundred-year storm, and it'll make another. One, one last one I want to say that right now, second and third point on south swells, they're not that great. But I'll tell you, there's a rare swell that comes. And the point at second and third have never, ever been better than it is right now. But it's a rare swell, like the one we had in 2005, which was a low latitude winter storm. Right. It came out of the west. It was a 255 latitude. And there, I've never, ever seen Malibu as good as it was on that swell. Up north, Rincon, everything was closed out. Yep. The only place that was really rideable was Malibu Surfrider. I happened to be there that day. And you would take off almost out towards old Joe's out here, all the way to the pier. It was insane. And not a, not a, not a drop of water out of place. There wasn't, there wasn't a section, it was triple overhead. What year was it? I think it was 2005. Yeah, it was and March January, 2005. January, I forget if it was the beginning of the Well, the rain, it rained heavy that winter, okay? Yeah. But the idea is that the place nature giveth, nature taketh away. Mm -hmm. 